Hey, will you do me a solid? Well, what kind of solid? I need you to sit in the car for two minutes while it's double parked. I gotta pick up some birds. Birds? Yeah, a friend of mine, he's a magician. He's going away on vacation. He asked me to take care of his doves. So take a cab. Uh, they won't take a cage full of birds. I, I can't. I'm on my way out. There's no way I can do it. George, do me a solid. Two minutes. <laughs> well, I'm going with them. I'd like to. I've never done a solid before. <laughs> all right, I'll... Yeah, all right, have a good one. <laughs> two minutes. Believe me, I know his two minutes. By his conception of time, his life will last over 2,000 years. Come on, let's go. What about Elaine? Hell with Elaine. She'll be furious. We're dying here. <laughs> That's her, she's here. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Where is Dad? He's in the bedroom. <laughs> Kramer? That Kramer? I'm just about to leave. He calls me up. He begs me to sit in his car for two minutes so he can pick up these birds. Oh, you did it. Well, he said he'd drive me here right after. So I am sitting in his car for 20 minutes. He doesn't come down. I am freezing. Then a cop comes by, tells me to get out of the car. He's a city marshal. He's towing the car away. Kramer owes thousands of dollars in back tickets. He was going to tow it with me in the car. So they towed the car. Now I am standing outside, and I am freezing, but I cannot leave because i got to tell him what happened to the car. So finally, he finally, he comes down with this giant cage filled with doves. He said he was getting special instructions that each dove has a different diet. So we're wandering around trying to get a cab when two of these doves fly out. Now we're running down the street after these doves. I almost got hit by a bus. <sighs> So, how's everything going over here? Great. Couldn't be better. <laughs> Good, because Dad can make some people a little uncomfortable. Oh, no. Get out of here. <laughs> Man, Kramer, I could kill him. I can't believe it. You know better than to get involved with Kramer. He said he'd give me a lift. Ah, the lift. Like the lure of the siren song, never what it seems to be, yet who among us can resist? <laughs> Elaine? Come on up. Hey. Hey. I gotta feed the birds. So? You got any of those uh, mini ritzes? <laughs> I can't believe that I do. What, are you going out? Yeah. Hey, where's your new jacket? What'd you do to it? I was out in the snow last night. Don't you know what that does to suede? <laughs> I have an idea. We can make the 9.30 at Cinema 3. OK. Hello. Listen, thanks again for coming last night. Dad said he had a great time. Is he still in town? No, he's driving back to Maryland tonight. So uh, what are you going to do with that one now? I don't know. I didn't want to tell you this, but uh, usually he hates everyone. Really? <laughs> you gonna throw this out? Well, I can't wear it. Yeah, he liked you, though. Said you reminded him of somebody he knew in Korea. <laughs> well, if you're just gonna throw it out, you know, I could take it. Yeah, go ahead, oh. take it. Dad thinks George is gay. <laughs> Oh, because of all the singing? No, he pretty much thinks everyone is gay. Hey. See, I like it like this. Isn't that... Oh. 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 Is this from the snow last night? Oh. You know what you should have done? You should have turned it inside out. I'll try and remember that. <laughs> Boy, it's too bad you gave me this one, too. Yeah, too bad. I'm gonna have to do something about this lining. <laughs> Master of the house, turning on the top, ready with a handshake and an open palm. 